Hi, and welcome to Studio Binder Academy. I'm Brandon. In this lesson, I'll be covering how media management in Studio Binder works. As you begin to work on more and more projects, you may find that you need to reuse a piece of media that you've used in a previous project. That's where Studio Binder's media management comes in. Within every project on an account is a media library page that contains backups of all the work within that particular project. This page can be accessed under the plan option and media library on the project navigation sidebar here. On the media library page, there is a reference files folder that contains subfolders for the various features within the project, which are automatically populated with backups of the work done on the respective feature pages. Along with the automatically populated backup folders, you can also create custom folders to upload any type of media that you would like to keep track of within that project and anyone with access to the page will be able to view or download the files as needed. To create a new folder, click the New Folder button here. Give it a name, then click Create Folder. Now you can click the Upload Files button here to begin uploading the media you would like to the folder. Once you click this button, a pop-up will appear. This is the Account Level Media Library. This library contains every piece of media that has been uploaded to any project on the account. This means you can reuse any piece of media across all of the projects on your account. You can use the drop-down menu here to select a specific project to view only the media that has been uploaded for that project, or the All Projects option to view every piece of media that has been uploaded to the account. And the drop-down menu here will allow you to view a specific type of media such as images from the shot list or mood board pages. This really comes in handy when adding images to the mood board, shot list, and storyboard pages. For example, here on the shot list page, I can click the upload button on a shot here, and the account media library page will appear and I can choose an image that I have previously uploaded to another project and insert it into this project. And once I click on an image, I can even click the edit button here to open the image editor to crop, adjust, annotate, or add arrows to the image. And rather than changing the original file, the system automatically creates a copy of the image so you will always have the original file to select in the library. So you don't have to worry about losing your original unedited file. So as you can see, whether you're looking to reuse an image, PDF, or any type of file from a previous project, Studio Binder's Media Management has you covered. To learn more about uploading or editing images, be sure to check out the Shot List and Storyboard series on the channel. Well, that's going to do it for this series. I hope these lessons have helped you get started with Studio Binder. And to stay up to date with new lessons, be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.